Hi everyone, uh, this is yet another video quick tutorial and the topic today is we're going to do a quick video on how to generate some uh, shells. I, I found this very useful tool on GitHub and I thought it's a good idea probably to share it with anyone that might use it. I used it a lot during my OSEP and I think it's it can come in handy so it's something that is worth checking out. Really good for creating uh, shells and that can actually uh, most of the time bypass antivirus as well. So I'll quickly get straight onto it. Um, so the tool itself can be found here. I'll just quickly and I'll put the, the link in the description. This is the tool. Um, it's actually by this guy called 4ND. I can't spell out the name, but that is a tool there. I'll put the link on the description. Uh, very quick to set up. So I'll quickly go through a demonstration on how this can work. So I'll go to where the file is. tools uh, shells that's why I saved it and to run to run this it's quite simple it's just running a script that is in there so shells.sh and it will come up so the, the the machine on the on the right hand side is as usual my machine that we're using as a test machine I've just got an RDP session to it just for demonstration purposes so in my in my particular scenario I'll be using the number one uh, you can go through this tool it's got different it's got python netcat bash but i normally go for the powershell so i'll create i'll hit number one on that uh, i will put my ip address which is my listener which is my kali machine 51.100.2 oh i'll start that again because then i put the wrong ip so again I'll just point my camera a bit up. And, uh, that's better. All right, cool. So let's go. So one, then our IP address, which is 198.51.100.2. This is just a VPN for my lab. Uh, 443, we'll go with 443. Uh, we'll go with one. Uh, Again, this is a different modes that you've got there. You've got VBA, you've got other ones. So I normally go for this one, which is number 12, which is the PowerShell, the staged payload. So I'll go for that. Uh, this is where we're going to save the file because uh, it'll generate a CS proj project file. So this is where it's asking you where do you want to save this. So I'll just put it on the temp, temp folder I'll, and that's the IP address because it's our, and that is where it's going to send it to the machine. So just use the default as well, which is public. And this is what it generates as the payload. So this is what we are actually going to use as the payload. Um, and now the, the best way to, to, to use this is to normally, or what I normally do is I convert this into a base 64, uh, which, which makes it easier to, 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 to send it through, let's say if you're using a, command execution on a, on a web URL or MS SQL. Uh, it's normally easier if you convert this to base 64. And I've got a quick script here, which is a, a PowerShell, which we normally, which I normally use to, to convert. You can use, you can use the Kali tools as well, but I normally use this. So I'll just delete all this here. So this is where the, you put in your, you put in your text, but you've got to have single quotes. So everything that was in there, uh, quickly show that. So I'll copy everything here. I'll put this in the description as well. I'll paste that here and run it. Uh, say yes, and it generates this base 64 base 64 here. So I'll copy this. Now, if you try and copy this, it, it basically doesn't do it the right way because it basically creates uh, different lines. So the trick that I normally use, which is my 
probably a very silly trick, but it works for me. I'll normally open up a, a web browser. Again, everyone's got their way of doing things. This is my easy way. So I'll, I'll paste that onto that. Uh, sorry, the base 64. Copy that. I'll paste that here. And that guarantees me that it's all in one line. So I'll copy that, uh, control A. So that is my payload. All right, cool. So now is the time to run it on the machine just to test it. So for us to run it, actually, I'll just, uh, I'll close this off here. I'll clear this. So we have to set up two things. We have to set up the listener and we also have to save, uh, to serve that CS proj file for the temp folder. So I'll just split this into two screens. I will go to the temp folder. And if I do ls, this is the file that we actually generated. If I cut yes, proj. So that is the, the file that we generated, the payload. All right, so clear that. Serve that file on port 80. Then we go and set up a listener. Now to run this file, we're going to use PowerShell on a Windows machine. Again, this is just uh, for demonstration purposes. So if I go to a Windows machine, if I go to command prompt, and for, for the way to run it is because this 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 what we copied was a base sixty four. We have to uh, to, to dec uh, which is encoded. We'll have to decode it. So we'll put our payload as like this. Uh, so we'll go PowerShell. EP bypass, which is execution policy bypass. And then dash ENC, which is telling it's an encoded base64. Then we'll paste what we copied from our URL. Sorry, I'll just copy from the URL again. Uh, this here, which can make sure that it's in the same, it's in the one line. So I'll put that there. So ideally what we want to see is once I click on this, we should see the file uploaded here and we should get a reverse shell up here so if i do that yep the file got uploaded here and our listener and if i hit enter we're in we're basically into this machine and if i do a who am i we should see that i'm john.snow who is connected uh let's see is it, is it listed here Yeah, so the user is actually john.snow. So if I do who am I, see that this is john.snow. Uh, yeah, so basically we are the we are in that in that machine. So that's a quick quick demonstration on how to use how to generate a quick uh, shell uh, exploit payload. Uh, this I found to be very very useful in my OSCP OSEP uh, exam, and I think you'll also find it useful. So please feel free to check it out. Thanks, guys.